Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. Um, today I'm going to do another movie review. I just saw a movie, and I haven't been to the movies in a while. It's been a crazy, crazy week I've been having, and crazy, crazy break I've been having. I had just had winter break. It was really crazy, and it was kind of, you know, it was not much, I didn't do much. I mostly just slept and, and shit, and, well, and I hung out. I hung out. I, I did stuff, but I mostly slept, and I was just really, really tired lately. And uh, so anyway, today I just uh, actually yesterday on Sunday I went to the movies. To, I went to the movies to see Owen Wilson, the new Owen Wilson movie Hall Pass, and uh, it was really good. It wasn't. My, it was you know it was it was really funny, but not the funniest film. Like you know it was funny. There were bits and pieces. It's basically about the, these two. These two friends are are married and their wives and they're not getting along their marriage is not going well or something so they keep check and the the husbands keep checking out other women like you know checking checking out their butts and everything and checking out other women so their wife said all right you know what i, I think we should just like you know give them a hall pass it's a, a hall pass so a week off of marriage you could have sex with anyone you know like do whatever you want have sex with anyone you want at any time, and, uh, yeah, and it's really funny, a lot of funny s stuff went on, I love the drug, the, the brownies drug scene, that was really funny, when they had the, the drug brownies, it's a bit naughty, <laughs> it was funny, I, you, it's a, it's a good movie, I definitely would check it out, and there was, a, and, you know, it was funny, a lot of good cast, Owen Wilson, uh, Leon from Curb Your Enthusiasm, J.B. Smooth was in it, and, uh, that guy, that two, into the Tooth Fairy, some guy that was that movie, The Tooth Fairy, with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, that guy I forget what his name is, and a bunch of other people, uh, Jenna Fisher from uh, The Office, the TV show The Office with Steve Carell, and um, uh, Christina Applegate. It's a, it's a and Owen Wilson. It's a pretty good cast. That it's a, it's a really good cast and it's a really good movie. I definitely check it out. I would say. Four out of five stars. It was it was it was really funny, but not the funniest. One scene in it that was really funny. I'm not gonna say what. You just have to see it for yourself because I can't say it on here. And uh, yeah, I definitely would check it out. Four out of five stars. Pretty good movie. Pretty decent. Not the not like I said, not the funniest, but really pretty good. I yeah, and I definitely would check it out. And also, um, so I'm gonna give a little update on what's going on as well. You know, with my life. Um, I, I just got a, the D, there's going to be a new DVD update that it's coming soon. I, I'll give you a, like a, a look like to, I'm so, you can't really see over there is where all the, the new things I got are for my DVD update, for my next DVD update. And also I'm going to be doing another Q and A video. I'm going to put the link to the, to the ask my questions video so you can ask me all your questions and I'll answer them in like in a week or so, I'll answer all the questions. I need more questions. So, you know. I'll put the link on the bonus video, and you on the the video that link on the bonus video. Post your comments on that video, so you can, and and I'll so I can you know see them and I'll answer them, I answer them when I do the Q and A video, which will be like in a week or so, whenever I get a lot of questions, and also check out my movie House of Rothedicus now on DVD. I'll put the link on the bonus video for that too as well. It's on Amazon. It's ten dollars on Amazon. I'll put the link on the bonus video for that, and it's a really good movie. And also, n great news, guys. Me, Doug, and Mark are actually working on a new film. It's based off Richard Chase and uh, Ed Gain. But so Richard Chase, like Ed Gain, kind of like it's based off those serial killers. It's basically me, you know, going. I'm walking my dog, and all of a sudden I see a piece of a furniture, like a chair that someone's throwing out. So the owner takes, like, says, I have some more in, in my house if you want any. So I go in the house and he ties me up, he keeps me hostage and goes on a ramp, he goes on a rampage. And, uh, yeah, he goes on a ramp. It, it has, there's some animal cruelty. I'm not going to say what, what, who gets, what animals get killed, but there's some animal cruelty in the movie. If you guys don't like animal cruelty, I wouldn't suggest watching it, but it's fake. It's all staged. You guys all know that. And we, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a dog lover. I'm a cat lover. I love animals and everything. And uh, yeah, and also yeah. So it's a, it's, it's gonna be a really good movie. I definitely would check it out. It's gonna be really gory. I'll let you guys know when that's out. We're still thinking of a title. We might call it "In the Mind of a Psycho Freak" or something like that, or "Psycho Freak" something like that. 
And, uh, yeah, and there's some behind, I'll put another, like, for, for the behind-the-scenes footage that my friend Mark took of the movie. Some, like, some, like, you know, footage you'll see, like, a little footage from the movie. We don't know what it's called yet, but it's gonna be really scary, really gory. And, and at the end, the end is, like, one of the best parts. The end is really cool. I'm not gonna say what happens at the end, but the end is gonna be really good. And, uh, yeah. And I definitely would check it out. Well, I'll let you guys know when that's out, and I'll... Well, it'll, I'm sure it'll be up on YouTube on either my channel, Doug's channel, March channel, one of those. And yeah. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this little movie review I gave today and, and the update. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you later. Alright. Peace.